this is Jordan with FindMediaTutorials.com. I'm going to show you how to use the program Super. It's a video converter, audio converter, pretty much everything converter as far as media goes. It's got all these options right here. You can see that it pretty much has a bunch of presets for iPod, Zooms, DS, PS3, PSP, all this um, stuff. And then you also have all your raw formats. And each format has options. This is MP4 here. And uh, let me just drag a file in here on XP. You can drag files directly into the um, into the uh, files here in the little files menu. And uh, you can see this is "Can't Believe It," you know, by uh, T Pain and Lil Wayne. And uh, it's an FLV, and you can convert it to MP4. This is a good way to do uh, YouTube videos and stuff. And uh, if I wanted to change the frame rate. I just change it to whatever I want, 40 by 320, sure, you know, why not? You can always click more, and they got bigger sizes, 1280 by 720. <coughs> but, um, you also have aspect ratios, frame rate, bit rate, in kilobytes per second. You can change it to high quality, top quality, stretch it, 48K audio, 44K audio. Um, options for, um, MOVs and MP4s here, the, um, H.264 stuff, um, but let's not worry about that because it's not really a big deal. So if I wanted to do that, all I have to do is uh, just make, pick my options pretty much, and there's some options up here for if you're doing MPEG and stuff like that. And as soon as you're finished with picking your options you want, two-channel audio, you can have up to six-channel audio on MP4. As soon as you're finished, you just make sure that this little check mark, uh, this little box here is checked, and press encode active files, and you can see this is a 22 megabyte FLV, and you'll see the progress go along here, and it really goes quite quickly. Let's see, now we got already up to 2 megabytes there. Um, but pretty much that's how you do it. There's um, On Vista, you can't uh, drag files directly in. For some reason, you have to right-click on the program anywhere in the program pretty much and go to add multimedia files which is up at the top which is disabled right now because we are converting but I'll show you in a second that it is that simple but right now it's converting this um, FLV to an mp4 which can go on an iPod or uh, any kind of media player really and it does really high quality quite quickly. We're already up to 14 megabytes from 22 megabytes. And this is a, a four minute video or so. It's a music video. You have to kind of play with it with the formats. There's a couple that may not work here and there, but most of them work. Um, just like certain. Uh, formats to another format may not work because that is a lot of formats to go between each other. So I kind of have to mess with it. It works better on XP than Vista. It does have a few little crashes here on Vista, but uh, overall not that bad. If you want to download it, you can find it uh, um, on our. We're gonna have a mirror on our website on the page that this video is on, and you can just download it directly from the mirror on our site which will be the easiest way. You can already see that this is going to be quite a high quality video. We're up to 42, 43 megabytes here. It's getting um, getting an, oh I guess I'm converting it to 1280 by 720 that would be why. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't really need that big of a file. <laughs> but um, pretty much here's, uh, here's my file over here on my desktop. It says .flv but it's actually mpeg4 it just had at .flv in the name. I can just delete that out. And uh, I'll open it up, see what converted of it. It should have the first. Uh, it just didn't render because it was not completely finished. But uh, pretty much, that's how you do it. Uh, quite simple. And I would definitely give it a go if you're looking for a fast, easy video converter. It's really self-explanatory. You just pick the options and press encode. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this review of Super Media Converter.